Alan, thank you very much for your time today and for joining us. Um, what do you make of this price tag attack? Well, this is not the first, as you mentioned, and this was, in fact, a racist attack by a small fringe element within Israeli society that is widely condemned by mainstream Israeli society. In fact, uh, even before this event made the news, a group that calls itself Tag Meir, which means light tag or tag to bring light, was out in that community uh, visiting, uh, speaking to the individuals involved, apologizing, and even bringing Quran books for them to make up for anything that was lost in the attack. Uh, so uh, that is a much more, in my opinion, represent not just my opinion, but I think, in fact, the more representative segment of Israeli society, the people who are appalled by such activities hmm. and who realize that the individuals involved are a fringe element. Okay, no, and I appreciate you, you that context for us because you know it, it makes it a lot easier for us to understand um, what is happening on the ground there directly. But nevertheless, do you think that there is enough concentration trying to bring people who do carry out such attacks to, to justice properly? Well, there have in fact been many complaints that the <clears throat> that the Israeli government doesn't uh, adequately pursue the uh, people who do these attacks, and I think there is some truth to that. Uh, however, public pressure is building on the government to crack down on these attacks, and there have been recent incidents with Israeli uh, soldiers actually going to illegal settlements, trying to bring them under control or to literally to take them down, and being opposed by uh, other Israeli citizens who live in these locations. So the um, there is, in fact, uh, an effort to crack down on this. It probably isn't strong enough. Uh, and I think activists on the uh, opposite side would, in fact, say that the government hasn't done enough to bring this under control.